Very much. Well, this scene is playing out all across South Florida. The video coming into our newsroom over and over. We're seeing these flooded out cars, hundreds of them. News Channel 5 consumer watchdog Jen Strathman continues our live team coverage at an apartment complex near the Gateway Boulevard exit of I 95. Jen. Well, we are here at Quantum Lake, but today it is more like an island. These residents unable to get to and from their apartment complex. As you can see, some people here walking. That's how they can get to and from where they need to be. But you can also see the sheer devastation last night. These car drivers here didn't really know what to do as the floodwaters began to rise. This car parked sideways as he wasn't sure if he should go up on the berm or try to get through these floodwaters. But I can tell you, behind here, there are about 200 cars with water up to their windows. Gary Mueller made it home from work last night, but when he arrived at his apartment complex, the real adventure began. My car was basically uh, halfway submerged. Car stalled. It's sitting here right now. It's, uh, it's out of order right now, not starting. Gary sat in his car for three hours until he was rescued by a good Samaritan. I didn't know what to do. If I did not uh, get, uh, I would say, rescued by that truck, I, would, uh, I probably would have slept in the car and just prayed for my life. Other drivers, desperate to get to higher ground, drove onto berms and banks to avoid the rising water. But some people had nowhere to go. I can't believe that there's so much water. A month after buying her car, Samantha can only look inside. The automatic doors won't even open. I don't want there to be, you know, water damage and rust. There is some good news here tonight. The lights just came on after, after FPL came here about an hour ago with about 10 trucks to restore power. They've been without it since about 11 o'clock. But I can tell you these waters are deceptively deep. I'm standing right now in about the middle of it. It comes to about my knees and it does get even deeper. And mechanics say you really should not be driving your car through these waters. But yet again, we continue to see cars who try to do that. And coming up at 530, I'll tell you the damage it can cause to your car. Live in Boynton Beach, I'm consumer watchdog Jen Strathman fighting for you. Jen, thank you. A lot of people.